Here is the cylinder we just casted and I'm very excited because I think I am ready to move on to start manufacturing the other parts of the engine considering the success of this cast. All of the cooling fins are flawless. There was zero breakthroughs between the cooling fins and I am not exactly sure why that is, but my theory is that for this cast, I went back into the design and added a very small fillet radius uh, at the base of each root uh, in, the, in the area where the, the fins meet the cylinder. And that reduced or actually removed almost all of the 90 degree turns in this cast. And I think that's possibly one of the contributing factors that allowed me to have such nice cooling fins. The clips to hold on to our Hall effect sensor wire are casted well again. A small surface defect did occur in this corner. However, it didn't go all the way through into the cylinder, which I'll show in a second. So I believe it's, it's just strictly cosmetic and the whole thing should be fine considering even that. The exhaust port casted really well. The two locating holes for the drill I'll have to use uh, to drill out those holes. Uh, they cast it well as well, so that won't be an issue when I get the correct size drill. It's quite small and I need to order it because I don't have one, but this is looking really good over here. Everything else looks really great on, on the outside and the top casted really well and polished up nicely and the, the thread is there as well. So everything on the outside looks really great. All of the features casted perfectly essentially. One small surface defect here, like I said, but apart from that, it's essentially perfect. The bottom surface is perfect. There are ex pretty much no, um, no sur surface deformations apart from right here. Uh, that's again, probably negligible. I mean, I would be surprised if something so small like that had an effect on the engine. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. The, the big success with this cast is the fact I was able to successfully cast both transfer ports. I'm gonna do my best to uh, get this in frame. Uh, there's one I think you can see and then the second one's there and they do go all the way through You can see the light coming through and that was probably the biggest challenge with this part was getting those two to cast and I Improved on my reinforcement techniques I experimented with in my last cast of this cylinder and the improvements clearly allowed me to successfully cast those transfer ports The cylinder has no surface defects on the inside. It's perfect and uh, it's, it's really as, as good as I think I can get it. So with that said, this is the cylinder I will most likely be using in the first tests of the engine. I did do a little test fit of the cylinder. This is not the same design cylinder as the one I have cast previously, uh, the final one I will be using for the test, uh, but it has the same dimensions and it fits very nicely. However, I think the fit is a little too loose. So I'm gonna go back and I think I'm gonna cast the cylinder again, even though the the the, the wear ring will help in uh, with the seal tremendously, I think making the tolerances a little bit closer will help the engine perform and just produce a better seal. But as is, it's a really nice motion, it's really smooth, and it, it fits really well. So that's pretty much it for now. I'm really really happy because I can start to move on to making the other pieces. I think I'll probably cast another cylinder within the next few days. But the main focus in terms of the manufacturing process will be on the crankcase housing. That's a two-part uh, housing, so I'll need to manufacture both parts. They're essentially symmetrical, but there are a lot of challenges that will be similar to this, and hopefully I can take some of the things I've learned throughout the manufacturing process of this cylinder uh, to help me have more success earlier on in the process of manufacturing the other parts like the crankcase. I think once I have the crankcase done, everything else will be much more easy, uh, but usually when I say that, it's not the case. But for now, this is it. I'm extremely happy. This is essentially perfect for all intents and purposes. And I am really looking forward to moving on to casting the other parts of the engine. So I am going to get to work. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting and possibly learned something new. Have a great day.